Ireland Rugby started in 2002. Um, I became a fitness instructor and it just escalated from there. Swimming teacher, uh, tutor with adult education and um, working with adults, children, uh, football teams, you know, over the years. Uh, I was always involved in fitness as a youngster, so I was very blessed, being honest, that um, I went down that path. And it's something that I'm very passionate about and I love doing. So I don't call it a job. <laughs> I call it a hobby. Well, it's great that you can do that. So, so yeah, I mean, it's a really, uh, well, it's overstating, a really active and physical job that you're doing. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it, it's challenging at times, I suppose, you know, because you're coming across different people um, all the time, you know, different backgrounds. You know, I find sometimes an awful lot of people that don't know you well confide in you more than probably they would sometimes with friends or family because I suppose at the end of the day, people are so quick to give their, their judgment, you yeah. know, and when you don't know anybody, they go, they don't know your background really that well, but they'll always sit and listen and just say, you know, not give advice, but probably just be there to listen to them, to be quite honest, you know. So a lot of people come for that too as well also. Mm -hmm. I found, you know, they might have a lot of things going on in their lives and, and they're in the club for different reasons. You know, doing sport for different reasons, not just for physical, but for mental. Okay, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And and so, yeah, I mean, obviously for you then being, uh, you know, moving and moving well and being fit and healthy is, is so important to you, isn't it? I mean, uh, because oh, extremely you're important. Hard. So can you just tell me a bit about your back pain uh, when it started and, and like how, how it impinged and sort of uh, made your life difficult with regard to you know, your activities and your job, etc.? Yeah. I suppose my back pain started, um, I, I'd be teaching an awful lot and I'd be using, you know, different equipment or bending down a lot in the pool in the, in, you know, with children. And uh, I used to get in the pool a lot. And that, I suppose, started then with lower back, you know, obviously pulling children, you, you know, with a pole, helping them in the pool if they couldn't actually travel down the water themselves. You know, you're kind of, you're using an aid to help them. Then I had a fall then, and that definitely didn't help. Um, when I was taken into hospital, they told me I had bulging discs, uh, three, four, and five, and that I was to be very careful what I do in regards as my work, in regards as lifting, and like manual handling, really, just the safety aspects of it, really. So um, I found I was very cautious. It stopped me a little bit doing things that I'd like to be able to do, you know, to help the children more. Um, but it's not too bad now with the help of yourself, I have to say. Um, I found, you know, going to yourself and um, when you showed me different movements to do and helped. And then obviously you, you did videos, which I thought was a fantastic help that I could take them videos home. Because sometimes when you go to a physiotherapist and, you you know, you're there and then you get home, you say, now, am I doing that right? You know? Um, so it's always great to look back on the video that you actually had given me and I could actually look at it and do the exercise. And I'll always have that, which is a bonus for me. So if I, if I find down the road I need to be doing more of this or I can always go back, you know, whereas I don't have to go back to yourself or I can go back to the video and I can look at the video and I can go from there. So that alone to me was brilliant. Absolutely. Video, I like to see visual. I like to visually see things. I remember them more more so than think, oh, my God, am I doing this the proper way? And you think you might be doing it the proper way. And I've often gone to yourself and said, no, and you'd say, no, no, you, you have to do this. And I would say, Ooh. but anyway, yeah. So, so just, uh, and thanks for you know, touching on that. So basically from going to other other maybe physios, that wasn't the kind of experience you got. You didn't get maybe, um, uh, didn't pick up a maybe small movement patterns or they didn't give you videos to take home with you to maybe really- No, I never got video, Shane, ever, no. Probably papers, you know, A4 papers with, with exercises on them. But me personally, it was great that you could talk me through it, which yeah. made a huge difference to me. You know, you're listening, you, you know, you're doing it properly, yet you're not doing it wrong, you know. So that to me was a, a huge bonus huge bonus so so today like uh, and tell me so today how is your back how is your movement working um just how it's you... good it's actually good yeah i find it good i'm walking around i'm not limping i thought i i, I felt i was limping there for a good while when i went to you i know you say i i felt i was going on my right side a lot you know and um no I, i'm actually pretty good at the moment being very honest you know 
and I still keep them exercises. Not all the time I don't do them, but I would go revert back to them now and again. Probably right. when I get a bit of pain. Yeah. Being yeah. honest, you know. Um, so finally, um, what would you say to anyone who has, say, back pain? In because this is your experience uh, about coming to say me here in body mechanics. What would you What would you say to them if they've been around the block and they've been to loads of people? Oh, I would definitely say yeah. It's because it, it's it's like everything, you know. It, you know, I've I've gone to a good few physiotherapists, and don't get me wrong, they've all been very good. You know, but yourself, I just taught with the video and um, the breathing. A lot of uh, physiotherapists do an awful lot of manipulation. I found where yourself, you don't do a lot of, you do more of the exercises and not as much, a little, but the videos helped me a lot. Um, Kind of doing the breeding, I thought was very, very good, which I never got breeding in a good lot. You know, when I went to physios, it wasn't about the breeding a lot, it was more about the the exercise. So the breeding and the exercise and the videos, they all complemented each other. So yeah, and, and finally, so so really, uh, and what I've been using is a thing called anatomy and motion. I know I spoke to you about this, and that's correct. Really about yeah. restoring people's uh, lost movement patterns that they've they've got through injury, so they stop moving because they're trying to protect their injury, and their nervous system is trying to protect them, and it's a vicious cycle until their body relearns these movement patterns that they really should have, but they've lost because because of pain and because of, mm. of the protective nervous system. So to me, that's a big part of the key to, to, to actually getting a person back to, to being fully well. Mm. So yeah, listen, yeah. thanks a million. I really, 